Hi everyone, um, welcome to uh, Paint With Me. My name is Nicole, for the ones who don't know me. Um, today we're going to doing, be doing the cardinal. So don't stress about the reds that you have. Um, you need a medium red, a, a light red, if uh, an orange, a dark orange. And if you don't have the dark orange, um, get yourself uh, through your paints a medium yellow that we can... Uh, uh, mix with the red so it'll, it'll make your orange don't take a light yellow because a light yellow and the red will make a pink because there's a lot of white in the the light yellow um and other than that uh we're i'm gonna flip you guys back onto the table and i'll close the background lights or the the upper lights and uh we're gonna start so i'm just gonna flip the screen Flip this over, try to align it where it's good, uh, a little bit like that, tighten this up, close the background lights, and go on my tablet and make sure that I see it so I, I always know where I am. Okay, so what I want to show you, I'm sorry if I'm in front of that camera there. I want to show you um, what I do. So I, the ones that have been painting with me, you know that I always use the same canvas. Um, before I get to that, I want to show you. So today we're doing this cardinal. Thank you to my brother Ahmad who uh, lets me use all of his photos. I'm pretty happy with that. I had Cat Blanche with him. And actually, I want to thank a few of the members of his group that also um, gave me Cat Blanche to use their photos uh, in the painting. So thank you very much. So uh, we're doing this one. And on Monday, we did the uh, the sketch. We practiced the sketch. And, and we're going to come to the actual painting. Um, you will see that from compared to the painting, the reds are not exactly the same. I have a little bit of shadow. It doesn't matter. It's okay. It still, if I don't compare it to the, to the uh, photograph, it looks absolutely like a cardinal. That's all that counts. So I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to reveal the canvas so this is last week's canvas so what I was I had to do because I worked with a palette knife it was really a lot of texture so what you can do is you put something under your canvas like a, a cloth or something you take a sanding paper this is like a 220 and you sand it down and make sure that the cloth kind of lifts your canvas so that you don't go make a dent in your canvas when you're 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 uh, sanding and I didn't go back to the, uh, the the canvas color the white I only took the bumps out there might still be a little bit left that I can feel here but that won't I don't it won't make any difference for for the canvas that I have and each time I do something that will be very uh, textured I will come and do this so that's how you prepare, and I'm not doing a, a, a coat on top to, to hide this because I will be doing it with my base coat. So now, um, we start with our base coat. Um, so I have white, and actually I'm going to show you all the paints before you start. So for the ones who didn't see, I always post ahead. Um, I take a picture of the, the paints that, I that I'm going to be using with the names also. So if you look through my post, you will see, <clears throat> you will see that, sorry. <laughs> so I have Tomp Red, Apple Red, if you look at the color, it's like a medium red with a light red. That Those are the cardinal colors. And then I have Tangerine, so it's a pretty orangey color. I might, 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 might be using Tuscan Red. If you compare it to the other reds, it's like a different shade of red. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if we will be using it or not, but we have it on hand. So I have the basic white black, and I have a raw umber. 
depending on the company, I find raw umber is, is different. I have also a golden brown and a trail tan. So the golden brown, uh, I used it in my branch. Um, I it, it kind of looked a little bit more like the branch we had on the photo, but it doesn't matter. L use a lighter brown if you want. Uh, mix a bit of that dark yellow into your brown. See if that gets you closer to this golden brown. It really doesn't matter. A branch is a branch. Okay. The, per the What I'm going to be doing here today is, is show you how I do my branches to look realistic. So here is my, I think it's an, an inch and a half because I have an 11 by 14. So it's faster for me to use that. And I'm going to flip my canvas this way because we're going to be doing it that way. And it's easier for me to do that. So I don't want this to confuse you for the ones that just popped in. I'm always covering the painting I did last week and I still have my little original 8 by 10. So I, I uh, soaked my brush in water. This, these brushes take a lot of water. They're, they're huge and they're thick and so it takes a lot of water. So I, I put it in the water and then I squeeze out the water and then I'll come here and take some off. I, I still want it wet because it'll be easier to spread our paint. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be loading the white, black, and brown, okay? And I'm going to start at the top here. And don't forget, guys, you do your sides. I'm not since I'm always using the same canvas. The canvas that I have is, is like an inch and a half thick. So it, it's really nice because it doesn't dirty my table. <laughs> As you can see, it, it gets dirty anyways. So here, just white. I might have to go very thick to hide my background. This is a little bit too gray for my taste. So what I, I want to do is a blurry background. And we're, we're going to come back and we're going to do uh, like background trees. You can do as many as you want, as little as you want. Here, I'm only going to take a little bit of the brown. And I'm going to walk my way back in. And it's okay if it's not just gray. Because it's winter. It's started to, to, to snow. So it's okay if I have spots that are, uh, that are um, whiter than others. I find this branch here very, very dark. And when I do this, when I blend it back over, I press very lightly. That's why it's a little bit wavy because I'm not putting much pressure on it. And I want to make sure that I do hide the green in the back. You guys might have a clean, like a new canvas. So it's going to be easy for you to do this. You're not trying to hide anything. Okay. And I like to do uh, this kind of background. It's, it's fast, especially when you're doing a video like this here. It's fast to do um, your background. And we're going to come back and we're going to do some trees after. So it's okay if you don't have much of, uh, of the details here. doesn't matter. So I keep I, I, what I just did. I work with a dirty brush all the way through. I'm, I'm going to have to reload the white. And then we're going to dry this. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to reload some white. You'll see that um, with the light, it's, you, it's a little bit... Uh, you see the glare of the light on the painting? That's because it's wet. I still don't like this. <gasps> It's fun when it's wet like this because it's thick paint is that you can come back and I, I go very, very lightly here over the area. I don't want it lots like too, too much of white areas because we're putting snow on top. So our snow won't 
show if it's like white all over. So lots of white here to, to be able to, so that it glides. I'm not, I haven't put back any more water in my brush because my brush, this brush here carries a lot of water in it. If you find that your paint is not gliding, take a little bit of water. Don't make it too watery um, because it, you're, you, it won't, it won't um, for me, it won't hide my what's under and you want to go from put a coat everywhere see here I have the okay I'm gonna do a little something here I'm gonna come I'm gonna do that just so that everything gets blurry even more and then I'm gonna go the, the other way again so this is toning down my camera and I'm barely touching. You see how it's making it more blurry and the white in some areas is let, is not as white now that I've, I've done a pass the other, the other way and barely, barely like feather light touching. Wow, I really like it. I'm going to turn it around so that you guys can see what it did. Look how blurry it went because I went that way after very lightly and then I went very lightly that way. So now I'm ready to dry. So I will dry and when you dry, uh, guys remember take your paint tray uh, to the side so that the dryer doesn't dry your paint. And it'll take a couple of minutes for it to dry. And you want it very dry so that uh, we can do the, the background trees. And actually, if it was me, I wouldn't put any more trees here. I really like it this way. But I'm going to show you um, if you want to put more trees on it, how to do it. I want it very dry, completely dry, yeah, I shouldn't have done that. I could see from, uh, from my, my pad there that it wasn't dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in and try to pick that. It's a little white. what happens. No way I'm going to come and put a tree here. I'm not going to touch it anymore. You might not see that, but I did a boo-boo here. I'm going to wait till it's dry. That's what I should have done. When it's too wet, you cannot do adjustments because I started to dry. If I wouldn't have started to dry, I could have just gone over the whole thing. But do it from here, that's what happens. I'm, I'm starting to get less glare. And you want to dry, not maybe at full heat. I'm at medium heat when you dry. See, there's a couple, there's a little bit of glare here in the middle. That's where the, the thickest paint is. Here it's dry. It's dry. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm messing up my canvas today. <laughs> so I'm going to put trees where I touch. It's hard to see because I can't see.
We're going to make sure this corner, because we need to go there with uh, our branch, make sure that corner is really dry. I wish we could, I could fast forward you guys. <laughs> Uh, this recording will stay on my page, Paint With Me, at all times. It'll be under video the way it was recorded. So you can go back, and when I dry like that, you can just fast forward to the next step. When you're live like this, you can't do that, unfortunately. That's almost dry. I'm getting there. You can lift it a bit and see where the spots are. Okay, it's almost there. So now I'm gonna take um, what went flying. Oh, the pic I'll go get the picture. It, it went flying because of my uh, because of the uh, the hair blower. I didn't uh, put it down properly. Okay. So now, uh, also guys, uh, one, one thing is I don't see your comments. So uh, because the way I'm sitting down, uh, I'm not seeing your comments, okay? So now we're going to take, um, it can be a flat brush, it can be a filbert. Um, I'm going to take a bigger brush. This is a number 12 filbert. This is a number four, not much difference. And we're going to go do trees. And I shake, guys. So um, so I'm going to, what I want to do is water, put water in your, in the, in your paintbrush. And I want to, I want to take the, the raw umber and the tata black. Mix them on my palette. I want this water because those trees, more, a little bit more water. Those trees are not, are like ghost trees, okay? And I'm going to test this out. So it's a little bit light. Like I say, and I'm going fast. Like I really don't want, and I can go maybe more water. More black and a bit of brown. I'm not going to be doing a ton of these. You guys can do as much as you want. Uh, it's because here I make a little boo boo, so I want to fix that. And you don't really see my tree, so I'm going to put it darker. Okay, I'm going to try to make. And the branches can be crooked, um, but maybe not wavy like this, but it's, it's, that's what happens when you shake a little bit. And I'm going to put, make this one, maybe not as, as visible as that. So I'm going over it and it's kind of dry. So it's kind of give me, giving me a texture. I'm going to zoom you in a bit so that you can see this better. Okay, so I want to fix, kind of fix this here. So again, I'm going to go into the dirty water. And I'm going to just come in here and fix and do little branches. Not too, too much. It cannot, you don't want this too, too detailed because it's, it's behind the bird. So... I'm going to keep, and I haven't added any more water. You know, I, I can just go like that. And I'm going to come back into my dirty water. And add trees. And and don't, they don't have to be actually trees. They can just be like straight. And, and I'm going to move you over so that you can see the... I went and touched my canvas because it wasn't, um, 
I didn't know it wasn't dry. I was checking if it was dry or not. And look at the mess I made. So I'm going to take more water and more black, a tad of brown. And this might be too black. This might be too black. So a bit more water because I don't want it to... The darker you put the background trees, the more in front they become. So here, I'm going to come and I'm going to hide that. And more branch is going to kind of come down here. So, and my, uh, I, f I, f I find that my fill, my filbert is a little bit um, rough. It's an old filbert. All my brushes are old. So, say you, you did a tree, you don't like it. I went into the clean water. And I'm going to kind of work it a little bit. Okay. They don't all have to come down. Okay. They can just be like that. So now we're going to start, we're going to dry this a little bit because I don't want it to be too wet. So because I, I, I like working my hand on the canvas and when I do that, well, I spread paint all over. So I'm going to zoom you out just a little bit, bring you back to the center. And I'm going to dry this. Take my paint away. It'll take me a minute because it's water. And you don't have to match your photograph exactly. You know, you just want uh, something that looks like trees in the back. So now, uh, I'm going to keep this filbert because it's, um, it's, um, it's rough. It's going to be okay for my, my branch. So our branch... As we see the photo, it's kind of, it kind of goes like here, okay? So, um, if you're working on an 8 by 12, uh, 8 by 10, so it's kind of the same. It's kind of like a quarter down, okay? So, I'm going to leave this here so that you guys can see the branch. So now I'm going to take just the black and the, the raw umber and kind of mix them up here. Not too, too much. Okay. And you can also uh, take a flat brush. You can take um, a round brush to do this. Uh, it, it really doesn't matter. And I'm going to give it a little curve. And also, I want to see where I'm going to sit my bird. Okay, I don't want to sit my bird. Well, here it's kind of in the middle, but I could I could bring it a little bit more offside. Okay, there's my little branch. And when you do your little branch here, um, leave enough space under so that because here uh, on this one, I, I don't see his belly very much. Like under the, the tail, this one has a bigger space. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to reload, reload as you need. Doesn't matter if it's more black, if it's more brown, because we're going to go put some, uh, some details in it. So I'm coming back here and I'm giving it a little kind of curve here. And I'm going to start coming down smaller 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 it's okay if some areas of the branch um we're gonna come in and do details on it okay and also um here now we're gonna start to add details I'm, we're gonna work wet on wet and i wanna so i'm gonna now put the golden brown in, and I'm going to zoom you in, guys, uh, as, we, as we work a branch. We're going to work the top branch here. 
So the golden brown and also the trail tan. I'm going to put some, shake my bottle first. And once we're done with the branch, we're going to do the snow, the falling snow before we do the bird. Because I find it um, um, maybe messier to try to do that when the bird is on, especially if we use the toothbrush. I don't want too much on the bird. So um, I'm working on the little branch, so I'm going to zoom you in so that you can see. And so I'm working with a dirty brush. I'm keeping a dirty brush all the way. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to load into the golden brown. And it's just tapping, guys. Just tapping. And that's all it is. And, and I'm tapping and it's mixing the paint. And these branches are not really smooth. So if I go off the line, it's, it's, it's really okay. Because I find the, the bumpier it is, these branches, the more realistic they, they're going to look. So I'm going to reload back the tan, the golden brown. Okay, maybe zoom you in a little bit more so that you can see even more at what I'm doing. And I'll try to keep an eye on the screen so that make sure that I, I, I bring you with me as I do that. And I'm tapping it in because if you see that branch there, it has all of this work. So we're, we're creating a texture on the branch. Okay. And we're going to, we're going to use like more than one color. We're going to use the, the trail tan at one point. So keep reloading here. And I'm going to take a little bit of trail tan. I'm going to take a little bit of trail tan. So I have both here. And I'm just going to go do like this. Take the excess off. And I'm just going to work it. And the more you work it, you got to be careful actually not to lose too much. And this here, we're going we're gonna to make it uh, maybe not as pointy um, as, we, as we come back. Because I like to play around kind of a little bit everywhere. So I'm going to take back some raw umber. Maybe just raw umber. I play with my color. It's never the same thing. And so I have three colors. I have the raw umber, the golden brown, and the trail tan here. And I'm just coming back in here and I'm tapping. And under the branch will be a little darker. So I'm just coming in. And I'm, I'm not actually putting my shadow just in one spot. Because uh, when I learned how to paint, just here I'm reloading again with the brown umber and all three colors again golden brown and and trail tan and I'm, I'm gonna keep coming back in here and here a little bit and where the bird is sitting it's kind of darker okay so at the top here I'm, I turn my brush around where there's still dark color and I'm gonna put my shadow there because that's where the bird is so there's a shadow there okay and now I'm turning my brush the other way where the golden brown is and I'm gonna reload my brush where if you find it's too it's too like too much in one area just go tap it in that's all so into my raw umber golden brown trail tan put a little dot there take the excess off and I'm gonna come in a little bit here and and I'm don't work too slow here like because if you work too slow um, it, it's well you'll be first of all we'll be here forever if you do that but uh, it's also um, not to putter in the same spot 
So I'm going to make sure that you move with me here. And I'm coming in. I'm moving a little bit uh, to, to the right. And I'm coming over and I'm move again. And right here. Okay, there's a big highlight here at the corner. So I'm just gonna take the golden brown and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put that highlight here. And it's not pure, uh, pure uh, golden brown, it's just a highlight. And your branch will be very different from mine. So don't, don't, don't try to make it exactly like mine um, I won't even be able to do it like I did here so now I'm gonna start actually you know what guys I'm gonna start you back at the end here so that I don't go put my hand in the paint so I'm gonna make sure that uh, you're right at the end here perfect so now if you look this branch here also has a lot of colors and that so we're going to put that on and then we're going to come and put all the little fine details that makes it look like a branch so make sure that nothing uh, okay so same process again uh in your dark brown that mine is kind of mixed with the the black here which is great and i'm going to take the golden Brown and the in the trail town and I'm gonna look at my photo and I'm gonna see where it's all at make sure you go over the edge of your canvas and I'm coming in and there's dark under here so in my branch I'm shaking which is just absolutely great and then we're gonna come and we're gonna put the spots where you know the there's black there's black knots and all that. We're gonna come and do that after. And here on you 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 also uh, can make it not even on top here. Okay, so I'm kind of losing it here. So I'm just tapping it in and I'm, I'm reloading as I need to. Um, whatever color I find should be there. So I'm, <clears throat> I'm reloading into my dark brown. My dark dirty brown and a bit of the gold. Just the, the, I don't see the camera here so maybe you don't see me what I'm, I've done. Okay, the camera is kind of over here. <laughs> I'm moving all over the place because I'm zoomed in so much. Okay, so I'm going to move you out a little bit so that uh, yeah, I get into my zone so much that I sometimes I forget to move the camera. You're going to see that once in a while. And I can't see your comments, so I don't know I'm doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to come under... And just tapping it in, tapping it in. It, it doesn't have to be the same color everywhere. So I'm going to move over. And again, I'm going into my dirty brown, the golden. And it's getting less golden as I'm coming in. Um, there's a shadow from the top branch to the this branch here it's there's starting to be a shadow there so this one here doesn't have as much detail at the top see my brushes are are older uh, very old and so they're giving me all these little fuzzies around my branch so i'm gonna just take some of the golden brown and this time, I want to put my golden brown just kind of the middle going down a little bit more golden brown. 
I might not show you every time I load because it's the same thing and I'm gonna move you over because now we're getting to the uh, the middle part of the branch and up here it's uh, it's darker so I'm just gonna reload make sure that I have some of the dark color for the top of the branch the top of the branch here is very dark from the shadow of the bird also in the shadow of the branch So I'm going to keep this dark. So I'm just tapping it in. I find that tapping in is, is I do a lot of tapping in, I find. I'm reloading the golden brown. And there's not too, too much here when we get to, to the, like the Y here. Um, there's not too, too much. So now I'm going to come. So I'm going to move you over, try to, and I'm going to reload because I like to work wet on wet and our branch is dry by now. So I'm reloading the brown and I'm going to load a tiny bit of the trail tan. And I'm going to start a little bit down here and then we're, we're so that it, it gives it a dimension. So I'm just going to tap, and I turn my brush as I need it, just so that, and you see I'm kind of going in the curve here. And I'm just, and here, I'm just going to get to that part here where it's, okay, I'm going to move you over again a little bit. We want that branch to look up. And not lying down so that's gonna come with um, what what when we, we do the work on it okay and here I'm working it kind of everywhere more of the golden round Okay, so now I'm going to change brushes, okay? Now this brush is getting too big for the work I want to do. And actually what we're going to do is I'm going to take my liner. This is a zero liner. And I'm going to move you over, try to keep you zoomed in so that you can see um, what, um, what I'm doing. And I'm going to be... I'm going to be um, wetting my, my liner. Move you, move you again. And I'm going to come and work at this, this point here. So I'm going to make it rounder. So I'm going to take, there's a lot of gray here also in, in the, 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 um, that branch. So I'm just going to take some white and some black and I'm gonna mix it a little bit of the brown so I can, can get a kind of a brownish color brownish grayish color a bit of water a bit again of the brown it's almost like a dirty dirty tan maybe a bit more white I'm, I'm going to come and I'm just going to get this and I'm going to come and add kind of like circles here and I'm going to take some more. I'm going to do that, that crooked piece of dry branch here. We're going to go add that. So I'm going to take the white and the white and the black. Maybe my liner is a little bit small for this job here. I'll see if it's too small, I'm just going to switch. So I took a lot on my brush. And what I want to do is from here, and it, it is, so if I shake here, it's really perfect because that little branch, it has all these 
little things coming out. And I'm going to put it coming in a point here. And I'm adding all these little side bumps. I'm going to take a little bit of the black, a little bit of the brown. And I'm going to add it here because I find it's just too gray. I want it to look really old and dry. Just, just like that. And whichever way you do it, it's, it's okay. It really doesn't have to be like I do. And I'm kind of working my gray into the branch. I'm going to zoom. So I'm going to show you the little branch a little bit more so that you can see what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is while we're here, we're going to go do the broken off point here. And that is done with the golden brown. So I'm going to keep the brush that I have. And I'm going to take the golden brown. Just... Just golden brown to start off with. See if I cannot just get my hand into what I've just done. <laughs> so I'm gonna come. Oh yeah, when I when I work on the edge like that, it's very hard for me here. Okay, and there's another little one here. Press a little bit more. And try to make it in a point. Okay, so I'm going to take the white with the dirty brush. And I'm going to come and do a highlight right away. And, and in here, there'll be some dark areas here. And do that here also. I'm going to come and I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to come and take some of the black and the, the raw umber. Just that black and a bit of my raw umber. I'm going to go put a shadow under this and inside of here. It's going to turn gray. It's okay. So see, I'm... I'm Come in here, it's coming out of the branch. So I'll load again because there's a lot of uh, golden brown here. And kind of it kind of goes there and there's a, a shadow under. That goes right to the point. So that's gonna give you that illusion that it's a broken piece. And then the top here has black also. Every time there's a branch, there's kind of a little knobby that comes out. And you want to do that. Okay. And here also. And what we're going to do is take some... A little bit of the black here. I watered it down a little bit. What I want to show you is on that little branch, it has these little circles where there's bumps. I'm going to go darker so that you can see that. See, it has these, these little curves and it doesn't have to be the same curve everywhere. It's just giving it dimension and going at the bottom I see less okay you can detail this as much as you want so now that one is that okay um, we're gonna go into um, the other one at the other end 
We're going to go do that other, other branch here. I'm going to change liner because I find my liner is uh, very small. I'm going to go into a, I'll try number two liner. They're brand new brushes. <laughs> I think that's the only br new brushes I, I, I own. So I'm going to take my black and my gray. There's already a lot of gray on the side here, so I'm I'm just gonna take that. Oops, you're not, you're not seeing that. Where am I? Okay, I had a lot of gray um, beside my puddle of black. It's very hard when you're zoomed in to zoom in properly. So it's, I'm I'm creating a dark gray, and I'm gonna load a lot, and I'm gonna do this. The other one, the other one on the picture started behind that. I'm not. I'm going to start it on the side here and I'm just going to curve. And I'm going to go to to nothing. Okay. And I'm going to take some white. And I'm going to come and I'm going to come and just create I want to make it bumpy on the side because they are they are very very bumpy. And my paint is still wet, which is great that I can do this. And at the same time what I'm doing is I'm creating um I won't have to maybe go in this one and create all these little circle line that we just did on the other one because it's wet. So that's what's fun when you work wet on wet. There's a lot of things that you um, don't need to do. I'm gonna reload again. Where am I white? These new brushes here are very pointy. So they carry a lot of paint uh, at the tip. But I don't get to touch the, the paint that's in the middle of the, the way I'm painting. And I'm coming right to the end here. If I lose, if I lost a little bit of my black, I'm just going to re-add it. And there's my little knobby. And that here, there's like little circles here. And this branch comes, what we're going to do, we're going to take some black, more black in raw umber. We're going to bring it on the branch, inside the branch. And we're going to make little circles like that here. Showing that's where it grew out of. Okay. So now I'm going to, whoa, sorry about that. I'm going to just zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I'm, we're, we're going to come here now, and I'm going to create some little knots here, some little, you're just going in a circle, and I'm going to start doing these little circle things. So this is where a liner is very uh, nice to have. So, um... Here, I'm working always with a dirty brush, and I'm going to come in and do these circles, these half moon kind of circles. That's where, and in some areas, I'm going to add more. And I'm going to make them dark so that you can see them. Uh, maybe I went too far. No. Nope. Okay, so, and I'm going just here, there, making little knots. And you don't want them all the same, all in the same spot. I'm going to reload, take a little bit more water. And I'm just going to go straight into the black. And I'm going to move you over as I'm coming along. And you know what, we're... We're going to do the top branch too. Did I do the top branch? No, I didn't do much on the top branch. 
So, and it has all these little bumpies here, the top branch. I'm just gonna bring them together. Okay, and here it's already very dark, so we don't see much here. So I'm just gonna go a little bit faster here where there's a lot of uh, dark already. There's shadows here, so you don't see much. And you just create little bumpies and, and little knots and then we're going to come after that with the highlights. I'm reloading my black as I'm coming along. I'm gonna, just going to put it darker so that you can see. Sometimes it just tells you where it needs to go because there's a spot there that is darker than the other spot. So you kind of know where you're going to put these little knots. And I'm going to move over again. And now that I'm coming to the Y area, this is where I'm going to start putting details so that we see that this branch is actually standing up and it's not lying down. And here, um, where the Y is, I'm just going to put a little bit darker. And I'm, as I put the dark, I'm kind of pressing up and down like tapping kind of thing so it's um create i'm creating a bigger shadow here and i'm gonna move you back here a little bit because i'm not quite sure where my bird's gonna sit so i'm gonna do a shadow kind of a little bit further down and Move you back where the Y is. There's a lot of moving around because I'm alone filming this. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm in pure black, guys. So I'm gonna do a little knot under here. And I'm gonna do one here. And then I'm gonna highlight it after. So I'm, I'm coming here. So by doing this, I'm, I'm showing that there's kind of a split into um, into the branch. It's splitting up to the upper branch to uh, to that branch. And I'm just gonna, and you see I put my, my, my um, details here and there and I'm gonna keep moving you over as I'm coming. And it's okay that it has these little like it's an old branch, so it's okay that it has all these areas that uh, are, are flipping out or coming out or there's bumps or that is okay. And here, I wanna do a little branch that's popping up here. So here I'm gonna take a little bit of the, of the trail tan and I wanna give it a little bit detail and I'm gonna come and just do that. And I'm gonna bring this into the branch, you know, so it's not float, just floating. And I'm gonna keep bringing you around to the to the end. And I'm gonna take some more black. And I'm gonna work my branch a little bit. And just keep adding these these semicircles and and more knots and it, it will be as detailed as you want it to be so okay so now I'm gonna go wash my brush since we're at this end you're not seeing that are you so since we're at the end already of the branch, I'm, now I'm going to work my way back that way. So I'm going to take my golden brown. Sometimes it'll be golden brown. Sometimes it'll be the tan. It'll depend what, what I see, what you see. So I'm just going to come in and I'm going to start. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep a dirty brush because I find it too, too much. Yeah, so a dirty brush and I'm going to come and I'm going to add and if I put some more towards kind of the middle here, working down, 
And a little bit of water is going to help to uh, have your brush flow better. And I'm 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 coming where I I want to I don't want to hide all the black that I've just done. So be careful not to go too much over your black. And where there's knots, usually there'll be like a highlight or here more highlight into that little knot there. And sometimes in and I'm I'm gonna go fast now. I'm gonna load back some raw umber so i want to work with a dirty brush a bit more so load your your liner with your dirty with the raw umber and then pick up your golden your golden brown or whatever brown you have so that it's not like straight uh straight golden brown it it tones it down a bit if we take the raw umber. I always kind of go in the in the circle. Sometimes, sometimes you you go straight. Sometimes you go, but pretty much that all the time there I go, I go in the, in the in a semicircle. I'm gonna. I've put more water. So load your brush with water. As if you see, it doesn't flow very well. Well, that's because it's too dry. So I'm going to golden brown and a touch, a touch of the fawn, uh, not the fawn, the trail tan. And here there's highlights here. But I don't want to hide the black that I've just done. Oh, sorry. Okay, so here where the branch meets the Y, there's highlights here. Okay. And the, here there's a knot and it's just... In the middle of the knot, there's there's just that dark. And I'm gonna tone it down with my real umber. And don't make it too don't make it perfect. If it's too perfect, take your black, take your brown, and make it unperfect. See, I'm to I toned it down. It was way too much. So I'm going to use the, the rest that I have on my brush going. So my brush is very dirty brush right now. So I'm just going to come in and add. This is how we uh, differentiate the brands from being, you know, lying down or, 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 you know, standing up. And here, because there's a lot of shadow on top of the branch, um, the the what we see the most is down here okay there's i've put a lot there maybe too much but that's okay i can come back in my raw umber and kind of you know tone it down you're not stuck with what you've done just go add details okay so back into my golden brown and i'm going to take the the trail tan in the golden brown at the same time and i'm going to move you a bit so now that we're at the other point so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna go you know where there's little knots I'll go around and then we start to see more on top here so I need water you'll know when you need water that your brush is not gonna go smooth anymore and this here, you can spend a lot of time um, doing all these details. You can put as much as you want. Just, just be careful not to lose, you know, or overwork it. Because if you overwork it, you're kind of working double time. You're doing your, you know, your highlights and all that and your shadow twice, which, which you know, happens a lot. So... I'm going to come and you don't want to be so I'm, I'm starting to put them darker for you guys to see so here there's a lot of um, work here on the branch so 
But see, when you're sitting at home and, and you can say, oh, okay, I'm, I'm going to put more here, more there. You know, it's all up to you. I mean, if I spend, I could spend like all day on my branch. I'm going to come back onto this side here. And I really like that I've put it darker. You guys can see it better. And so I, I've, I'm double loading again, okay? So, yeah, I like that you guys see that. And here it could just be, you know, all messed up. And I can, you can go a bit on the top too, just, but not very, not a lot. Okay. The branch, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some raw umber, black again. I'm just going to come and, and kind of tone this down a little bit. You know, that it, that's not all at the same place. See, maybe there's a bit much here. Smooth it, you know, make it not as much as strokes. Okay, so our branch is starting to look pretty good. Now I'm going to go into, I want to work on the top branch, and then we're going to do our bird. Because I could spend all day just doing this here. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit of texture on top branch here. With, what may I have a dirty brush? And I took tan, the trail tan. And as I'm putting, pushing down on my brush, oh, I kind of pick up. Um, okay. So now I think we're going to dry this. And um, like I said, you guys make it as detailed as you want. You've got the basic idea of how to do that. Use the colors that you have. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure if I like this new brushes, paid a lot of money for it and, hmm, not sure. Okay, one little highlight that I see at the, at the Y here to make it more, I'm going to make sure that uh, we're there a bit more. Uh, here, highlight more, and I'm going back here. I want to highlight that a little bit more. I'm, my brush feels like it's dry, bra. It's dry, but it's okay. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. I'm going to bring some of that tan right down here. I'm going to bring it up a little bit so that it shows that this branch, it's dark, but, you know, it's coming from there. Okay. Like I say, I could, I could do this all day long. And. Okay. I'm going to dry. Then we're going to start preparing we're gonna transfer we're gonna actually do our bird so i'm gonna bring you to where i'm gonna probably zoom out a little bit so that we can work on the bird that you can see me but i'm gonna dry first so i'm gonna take my palette off of this i'm gonna dry I want it really dry so that when we do the, the cardinal, I don't spread brown paint all over the place. Okay, doesn't take much to dry. I'm just going to have a sip of water so I don't lose my voice. 
I'm going to zoom you out a bit just to show you where my bird is. Because right now, all you see is the branch. Whoops. I keep knocking the light. Okay. So I'm going to put my bird. So your white chalk. And I I'm, I try not to center things too, too much. But sometimes it's like out of my control. I do end up centering. But I'm going to kind of want to go maybe a little this way. So I'm going to start my bird. I'm not sure if you're going to see that. No, way. I'm going to change the, uh, for a different color so that you can see the bird. I'm going to go with red, actually, because we're working with a red bird. So, um, oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to start on this side. So what we're creating is it's almost like an egg shape. And this is a chalk. So whatever... I can I can just erase. So um, I'm gonna do a bird that is maybe like I'm not looking at how much space the photo has. I'm not looking at that. I I'm just gonna look for my painting. What is the best for my bird? And it's fluffy. It's okay if I made it too big or or not. You know. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to come in and do the shape. I'm going to bring you down a little bit. Bring the shape. I'm going to make the beak. It's got a big beak. And it's kind of a roundish top beak. And I'm going to come down here. And then I'm going to bring it, bring the crest up. Okay, and the crest kind of goes like that, but then it, its head is very fluffy, so I'm going to fluff it, okay? So now I know that I need to put more roundness over here, okay? And I probably want more roundness here also, at the belly area here, okay? I might have to, I'm going to take this off. So a little bit of water. When you work with the chalk, like it's really, really easy. So I'm going to come and erase this so that I know where I'm at. Is the head okay? Do I have, do I need to increase the head or not? So right here at the shoulder area, he's got a little wing. Comes down a little bit like that. Okay, and I feel that this needs to be fluffier. But we can also, there's a, a you know, uh, we'll be able to adjust with, um, when we paint. I'm going to make him fluffier on top here. And I think I'm going to start painting him. And I want to bring this up a little bit. Yeah, okay. So now what we're going to do, um, I, I also, I think, I think this, this is coming in a little bit too much right here. His uh, crest is not white enough. So much fun to work with a chong, guys. If you've never tried that, it's 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 really it's really fun okay just like that and his chris gonna come in here and kind of like that and like that okay if ever i find this is too tall well i'm just gonna bring this in okay and the black the black kind of goes it's you know, I'm, I'm painting a little bit maybe more realistic than um, maybe you're used to. And it's kind of like that. We'll, we'll adjust. What I want to do is start putting my red in so that I can see if, if my proportions are okay or not. So I'd rather add than try to take off. And I know for sure that this needs to be bigger 
from from the photo so and this has he has like a little forehead here it's kind of going in a curve so what we're going to do is we're going to start putting our red in. So I'm going to take this brownish red, okay, and we're going to use some of our black. So, so I'm going to take I'm going to take a lot on my palette. And this time I'm going to take my my number 6 flat which is which is like a 38 flat or yeah, 38 and I put it in water, take the excess water off, not too much water. And it's going to be, it's not going to be, it's going to be watery, guys, okay? Like it won't, we're going to need to put a, another coat. And I'm just going to come in here and work, work off here like that. And as I come in, it looks pink. That's because it's just the paint that I have. And this, the black here, it's okay if we're not perfect with the black. I'm gonna put a little black in my paint just to, to make it uh, more brown. I, and it's the way my brush is made, that's why I'm not getting little points at the end, okay? And his little crest. And I'm gonna come down. And I'm it's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and inside my line. So that way if I'm a tad off, then I can add. It's better, it's easier to add to the bird than try to take off because of our background okay so here he's got that little wing part that we're gonna put black after and we're coming down this paint is drying very fast a little bit black so at, at the same time what we're doing we're kind of by adding black it, it's giving us a, um, a a a shadow kind of okay so now I think I'm gonna bring this up a little bit because I find I find it's coming down a little too much so I'm gonna bring this up and right here so my bird will make will be very different it's it's a bit taller than in the photo which is just, per it's, it's okay. It really, really does not matter. And here we try not to go in our branch, but if you do, all we're gonna do is just add the shadow back on. That's all. And I'm coming in. Yeah, if you guys have artist paint, that's great because artist paint is much easier to work with. Um, I have it, but, um, I don't want to work with it too much because I know that a lot of people that I know have the kind of paints I'm using here. So I just don't want anybody to feel um, left out because they don't have the same paint. So I'm using the same paint as they are. So I'm making my bird fluffier as I go. And as it comes down here, it's just a little bit straighter. And it really, really does not matter if your bird is not shaped exactly the way it's on the picture. It really, really does not matter. So this red, this, well, in my face, this red looks pink. But when I look at my tablet, it doesn't look that way. And then uh, I'm going to come in this red. This one here does go over kind of like three quarter ways here. It goes over the branch because it he's sitting he's sitting it with his right side a little bit up, facing the other way. So that's why um, I'm creating him that way. 
And here I'm just putting the red so that I can just start blending and actually it's it's kind I'm kind of in it's almost like I'm already you know putting in uh, my highlights and and that just by doing these strokes here just like that so I'm I'm already working the bird and the edge here I'm gonna increase it a bit more because I want him fluffy the way he's sitting is very fluffy and he's got little hairs coming out that might be easier to do with the with the liner then trying this brush here is not it's very thick brush but um it's um doesn't have a, a, a sharp edge you know like a, at the point here it's wide so I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna keep you know there's a shadow there's a shadow here so I want to try to keep that but that's okay if I don't because I'm gonna come and put it back on so I'm gonna keep working on him I'm, I'm loading black and red um, same and here I'm just gonna tap so I can have feathers sitting on top here and we're, we're gonna come and do the tail also so okay kind of like that So I'm going to increase, I'm going to come into, I'm, I'm still working with the same red, a bit of black, and I'm going to come and I'm going to fluff him up a little bit more here. Because I find it's not enough for the body that I've made. Okay, I like that better. And I'm going to make him rounder a bit more. My bird is a very big bird. I don't know about yours, but mine is very big. Okay. I'm going to come back. This is a this is dry. I'm going to change brush cuz I really don't like that brush. I'm going to come and I'm going to take Okay, I'm going to take my it's not a half inch. I think it's like a three eight angle. I'm gonna take that one. I think that one it's it has it a more chisel edge than the other one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch. I can be able to to do this. Yeah, that's much 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 better. Okay. And I want to make the crest. You know, come in. And coming down and coming down uh, see I knew I was gonna do that that's when you work on not on the canvas on the on an easel that's what I do but I'm gonna come in right away and fix it if you notice it right away I'm actually gonna take a brush a wet brush and I'm going to come and fix that. If that happens to you, that's what you do. But because I'm working wet on wet, it's kind of hard to, you know, have it not touching. Okay. As we add layers to our uh, cardinal, he's going to start looking much better. Now we're just in 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 the the um, just adding our base color. Okay, I better be careful because I'm gonna bring him. Oh well, that's okay here. He's got little hairs, and this I wanna 
maybe bring it up a little bit just like that what we're doing is is we're doing the placement of of the cardinal it, everything has to be in its proper shape and so i'm going to come i'm going to come in and do the beak cuz the beak's kind of going to tell me um, how my shape is doing so this is where we're going to take our orange now the ones that don't have the orange um, take your I'm going to see if I have the right shade of yellow and I'm going to come it's going to give me a, a bit of time for that to dry so I got here a Oh, I took a yellow light. Let's see if that's going to work or not. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to take some of that red and I'm going to mix it with that, that yellow and see if it turns orange or if it's in the pink. I'm going to take a little bit. I think it's going into the pink. That's what I was... Yeah, see it's going into the pink because I thought I took a dark yellow and and I took a, a, a light so that's what you have to be careful with your yellows um, so take a dark yellow to do this because you're gonna end up we can actually use that as a highlight so now I'm gonna take um, my number eight flat which is the one the three eight that I think I didn't like I'm gonna go do the beak. So I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take some orange and some red. The orange and the red, and I'm mixing it in on the side here. So I kind of get a reddish, orangey color. And I'm gonna come and try not to. And here I can adjust the beak. It has a big beak. Okay, and I'm going to come under, and the beak comes into the bird. And it's okay if it's bigger, because the black, with the black, we're going to hide it. So I'm going to take my black right now, and I'm going to go see if everything is in its proportion properly. So I'm going to take my liner. I'm going to take just my pure black and the black goes right here actually it's here I might have brought that up too much okay so here I can adjust with my red after goes behind the beak a bit maybe too much and I'm going to go around here. I'm testing, guys, if I'm, you know, the right proportion and if everything's where it should be. And I'm coming in. And then it comes in again. There's that line here where he's going to be. And I'm going to add... So I'm just working with the black and I'm going to come here in, it's kind of like a, almost like a, a circle angle. I just want to make sure that under the throat, everything's okay. And load with black again. And coming down here. And here, there, it comes up a little bit. And it, it comes down like that. You could have just done zoom, zoom. 
You know, you don't have to be as specific as I am. That's how I paint. Okay. And then after, we're going to do all these details. I just wanted to, you know, put this in so that we know that the beak is in the right spot and everything's in where it should be. There's more black to be done. Uh, there's there's more highlights. There's the back here. I'm just going to wash that up. It looks kind of terrible right now, but that we're in the process. So I'm going to take some orange again, some of the red, mix them together, and go do another coat on the beak. And I can adjust right here where I've put the black and all that. Got to be careful, my black is still wet. See, I'm going in and I'm adjusting how, how the red, how the beak is coming in. You know, then there'll be our highlights that we're going to add. And I'm going back into the same mix. And I'm going to come in. And this is a little bit more rounded and it co goes in like that. Okay. Okay, make that even. We're going to let that dry. While that's drying, we're going to go come and put some highlights. So I'm going to change brush. I think I'm going to use a filbert. I'm thinking of a filbert. Do I have one close? Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to use this little filbert. It's a number four filbert. It's round. Sometimes it's easy to work with that. So now I'm going to start, I'm going to use this mix here. I'll, I'll, don't use it, guys, if you've done this too. I'm going to see if it's not too, too pink to do what we're going to need to do here. So I want to start adding highlights. Start hiding that, that dark uh, gray that we, we have here. Yeah, I think that's a little bit too pink. Okay, and actually, what I want to do is join these two together here. Okay. I'm going to go into, we're going to come out with the apple red, I think, now. So the apple red is a little bit lighter and it's all 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 about texture and I'm gonna use a little bit of water not too much because these paints there they're very they're not um, they're not very thick so I'm I've just loaded in in that paint and I'm gonna come in and start that's his chest area. And it might not see it very much. And I'm coming, going in the shape of the bird. Okay? And everything's in the shape of the bird. The way he's sitting is... I'm going to take some of the original... What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my original red, load some on the side, load some on the side. So I'm going to take the original red plus the apple red together, okay? So I'm gonna create um, a, another color so that I can come and I can hide, you know, the base coat. And it's all I'm coming into strokes that are creating 
a round like like that because the bird is sitting so his feathers are all around like that okay so here there's a here is lighter and I'm gonna leave this area here as our shadow because the way he's sitting crooked he's sitting crooked so there's a shadow here because of the way he's sitting so I'm gonna leave that there and come in and I'm gonna reload again same with the base color or brownish red and with the apple red the lighter red and I'm gonna come in and I want to hide you know what I what's under and I can go over my branch and we're, we're gonna do the tail also <laughs> not forget the tail and here there's also kind of a little shadow so I'm just flicking and putting the paint on And here is the neck. The neck has a highlight. We're going to go on top of the head again. So I'm loading with the same mix, the light and the darker brown. And he's and the way here that the, the, the head works is that he's got highlights here. I want to make sure that, you know, the, the crest has uh, that the points there that are, they're not see-through and then I'm coming in and I'm coming in that way in case my strokes show and this way too and it's and then it kind of it comes down a bit it's all about knowing your bird because once once we're done with, and we do the final highlight you kind of know where we're going okay wow my bird is very fat very tall very fat okay now I want to come and do the the black here so that we know and then we're going to extend the black. We're going to bring the black into, you know, like this here. We're going to bring it into the red. So it makes it more realistic. And I do that like that. See how it makes him look not as... Um, just like a paint put there and this kind of like that and because I have black here so right here he's got a little shadow where right here where the two here there's there's a, a little a crease maybe you can call it I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna come in like this here into there Okay, and there's the, the back here. I still have black paint that I picked up. I'm going to pick more up. I'm going to pick up more of my red and a little bit, some of the black, without going black, black. Okay, and I'm going to see, because we're going to play. We play with the black, we're going to play with the red, and it, it makes it uh, makes it more more realistic and I'm coming in and I'm going over because there's little feathers coming off here on this side and I'm gonna bring this in and bring this in but we don't go over the neck area the the shoulder area here if you did that's okay We're, we can we can come back and right here it's got a little kind of shadow here I'm putting it dark just so that you guys can see it okay and then we'll tone it down okay and we're gonna do his little wing and I'm gonna come and erase uh, 
erase the the chalk there and his wing comes in it's like a semicircle and it comes in like that and goes over there it reaches almost the the black here and it comes down a little bit along the body I'm gonna put this a little bit darker I'm barely barely touching because I have black in there so just just and go into barely nothing here if it gets too dark well that's okay I can I can fix it okay so now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna take back my red I'm gonna take the little filbert that we that I had at first so I'm going to come back into the mix of the red and the apple red, or basic red and the apple red, a bit more apple red. And I'm going to come and put some more highlights here. Now I want to cover, I don't want to have my crest see through. And I'm going to come in here. And as I come in here, I'm going into my black, toning down the back of the back. And same here, I'm going over. And here also. Here I might just have to go in, in, our, in, in the original color to be able to come in. And I'm coming in, I don't want to hide it all. I want it I want it to show like it's it's feathers going in toning it down a bit that's what makes your bird uh, more realistic that it everything seems to blend in and come down like that a little bit and I'm so now we're gonna go into I, we need to lighten this up a bit more. So I'm going to go into the orange and the apple red and see what color that's going to give me. I always mix on the fly. Me, I mix as I need. So let's see. And I don't want to maybe come down as I did before. Okay. And it has a highlight here. A highlight there and over here now this also has a highlight where the chest area is and as you see I'm doing little strokes I'm gonna reload back into my orange into the apple red mix it on the side maybe a little bit more and coming in and doing my strokes and I'm going in the in the curvy way and I'm going to come down here also doing little curves And just keep going little curves so that it, we're giving him a dimension. We're giving him a shape right where the shadow here we've done. And here, for some reason, this because this is more in front, it's a little bit more highlighted. Going back into my orange. And I have a lot of the mix here, so I'm just going to go in, see if that's not too much orange. And then coming in. And coming in and I'm trying to not touch where I've touched before so that we we get to see the dimension not hiding all of the dark under so go taking some of the orange again a tad of the apple red and I'm gonna keep going Oh, here we go. I'm going to wash that off right away. I'm going to 
going to wipe it, wash it off. Okay. And keep going. On this side, it's it's the side that is more up front, so it has a lot more highlights here. And remember, it doesn't have to be mine, yours, you know, just I'm just showing you where the placement of things are, um, where highlights is on this specific photo, because the photo you might decide to follow might not be like that at all. I'm reloading in just a little puddle of dirt that I have there that is already mixed for me. And I'm coming back in. And I'm coming back in. So I need to lighten this up. So more orange, a bit less of the red and blending it. We're gonna do, we're gonna work on our beak too. When Once the beak is put in and you know, it's, it's the right color, it, it really all falls together. Now, I don't wanna kind of maybe go as far as I went before. So I'm gonna just come in here Give it more of a highlight here to make it his make his face look um, rounder, that like a dimension. And same here. Okay, same here. And I gotta tell you, it's very hard with the reds from bottles uh, to get the perfect red because you know with it right now is not the time to order paint because it's way way too cold to order paint um i want to hide this a little bit there could there can be a shadow but maybe not as much so i'm gonna come in with my basic color and i'm gonna bring this in a little bit Hide that a little bit. I find it's too much. See now how our bird is starting to be all fluffy and so I'm gonna take back our mix of orange that we just did. I have black in there. I need to wash because when I went into the bird it wasn't dry enough. So I'm gonna take my orange, my apple red, Blend it. Make sure that I keep it on the light side. And I'm going to come and add some more here. More highlights. As you can see, I'm really not following a specific order. What you want to do is just create like feathery strokes kind of and I'm going fast because if I start in, in puddle and I'm gonna end up with with my strokes side by side you know won't it won't look like not like feather kind of but you know I want to create I want it to show that it has a shape Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to take more orange, a bit more red. I'm, I'm, I think I'm going a little bit more orangey now. And I'm just going to pop some his, his area off, out. Right over here. And 
and I want to come up here also. Okay, let's go into his beak. <laughs> he kind of looks uh, funny because his beak is so light. So I'm going to take my, yeah, my quarter or my one eight flat brush. We're going to come, I'm going to reload some more of the orange. So we're going to take orange and a tad, tad of the red. And we're going to come and we're going to add the orange to the beak. And that really does a big difference. And I'm going to put some at the bottom also. But keeping it at maybe a tad little more red, but not that red. Oh, I, I want to kind of bring this up a little bit. At least make his beak even. So what I'm going to do... Um, I wanted to make this at least... Okay, it's the way my brush is. Okay. I'm going to go put that black line there to separate. I'm not sure if I have the right liner. So I'm going to take a little bit of water into my black and work it into my brush. I'm going to try not to do a very harsh line. I have lots of water in my brush. I'm going to take some of that off. It's a bit too much. I'm going to take my wet brush here. I'm going to Push it up a little bit. Push it up. And I'm, I'm wiping off on my rag at the same time. Pushing it up. Pushing it up. Pushing it up at the beak here. I kind of like that because it, it, it doesn't... Uh, okay. So now I'm going to take my back and we're going to come and kind of do these, this area here, like, um, like the hair is, is, is coming in. And right here at the eye here, it, he has little hairs that come out. I don't know if you see that or not. So here I'm coming in and I'm going gonna go straight. Okay. And the mouth also coming in a little bit. And I'm gonna adjust this. This is a little bit more kind of like that. Yeah, it's starting to look a lot more like a beak. So what I want to do now is in the middle of the beak, push this in a little bit more, just like that. See the difference it did? Just pushing that in. 
and even here a little bit more also there we go I like that much 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 better there'll be hairs now what I want to do is take off the line our pink line here from our chalk well my line was pink yours might not have been pink but I'm just gonna come in and take it off so that I feel like it's paint that that is there and not okay so that looks much much better there'll be a, another highlight but let's go do the tail before <laughs> before I forget to have you do the tail so the tail is not very long so the tail comes kind of in an angle and it doesn't go very long and it flares out so it comes in like that flares out in the same kind of angle and it's just little feathers like that okay so that's pretty much I have pretty much the right angle so um, this is going to give a chance of us to observe the bird is there something else I need to change um, uh, where else we're going to put our highlights it kind of giving us a break of the bird so I'm going back into my original red a little bit of the black so the red the black and I'm coming in into I'm gonna try it if ever I go over the branches it's okay we can just go back in and, and fix it and I'm gonna come down like that and and it's okay I want to see that it's I want to see the red I want to see the black And try to keep that straight. And I'm coming down here. Okay. And I'm going to do this all the way down to the tip of the tail. And I'm going to try to keep the tail under the branch. And here it kind of has a little bit, and then it goes into a bigger, 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 and a little tip. But it doesn't matter what you do. That's what I do. That's what I did. So I want to make sure that the top here matches the bottom and make sure that you go under your branch you don't want to see any white areas of the background under your tail and I want to keep the same angle okay I want to put some highlights on the tail I'm gonna go into our primary red the, the our main red and I'm just gonna come here and I'm going to make sure I grab that and make it go down here. Okay. And this I can blend it a little bit. And I might have to reload again into our primary red, our main red. And I'm going to do the same here. And let's not forget that the top here, that the top, like the bird has like the fluff of, of his under feathers here. Like, so what I want to do is just here and there, just go add some color, some red. And... Let's make sure that, you know, what we do goes right up to the branch. It's 
so it doesn't look like there's a, a piece missing. I'm gonna go do his fluff here. That's gonna be, uh, and I'm gonna take both, both reds, the apple red, and and I'm gonna come and I'm gonna make his fluff. His fluff is under, and it kind of goes off the side of the tail, and it comes. So what we're gonna add. A layer of uh, of highlights in there and I want to come in and bring this so I'm gonna take my main black my main red with a little bit of black and I'm gonna bring this up here the side is not clean enough for my taste I'm gonna make sure that I'm off to the at the branch okay so now I'm going to I'm gonna dry this okay guys I need to dry this to do the more highlights on the tail the same time and I'm, I'm gonna come and I'm gonna take off my lines that I had at the beginning be careful if you didn't dry very much oh okay well we're gonna do our snow I didn't follow my sequence I didn't uh, that's not what I did I did my snow after the bird was there so that's what we're gonna do now I'm going into the apple red and the orange it doesn't matter it's going to be all good. Snow is easy to do, so it'll be it'll be fun. So, apple red, orange cuz we're we're adding I'm adding uh texture and and after what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back on my branch and add a little color there see how it's already looking like it's the underbelly of the bird so i'm gonna um i wash my brush i still have a little bit of water i'm gonna take the apple red and i'm gonna come and i'm gonna do a quick highlight here well i'm not going out i said a quick highlight not an off off tail highlight <laughs> And a uh, highlight here where the feathers are. They can come up. It can come up. It can come up to here, up to there. And that's the under the tail. So, you know, we don't want to put too, too much highlight there because it's under the tail. So once that's dry, we're just going to go put some white lines there, you know, to show that there's, there is a feather, uh, like different, uh, different feathers there. So I'm just cleaning up a little bit. Um, this here can be as round as you want. Mine is a little bit crooked. It still looks okay. So uh, my, my, I, I want to do another highlight on the bird i find that it's to me it's missing a little highlight so i'm going to try this red here it's called tuscan red it's a different red i'm just gonna see if that is gonna make a difference or not and i think what i'm gonna do is mix it in with a little bit orange and i'm gonna come and I'm gonna come and put it's it's a different red, yeah. It makes to me it makes a different. See, I'm not going over all of the, and I want some here. 
right there and I'm kind of, I'm going to come out and I'm going to come out here and over here going into the black smooth, smoothing it out I'm going to do the same thing again so a Tuscan red a tad of orange into my Tuscan red and I'm going to come and put more highlights and I'm going to go over a little bit of that feather that you know that uh, feather here and I'm I'm coming down turning my brush I'm gonna Reload the brush with the Tuscan Red, a little bit of the orange in the Tuscan Red. And I'm going to come here and, and do that highlight here. And I'm going to come down here and do more of the highlight. I like it better. Yeah, the Tuscan Red, so it's... It's three reds that we've used. Three, we've mixed some, we've used some, so. But like I said, me, that's what I see. You guys probably might not even see what I see. Um, what you see on the video is not what I see in person here. So I'm gonna reload again. I'm not loading a lot at the same time. Because I don't want it like a big splash of color, which I could do actually, kind of go going well if I do that. And I'm just gonna come and then let's start going the other way. And I'm and here the belly here is highlighted it because it's out more. And we're going to come and we're going to do the same thing here. I'm not sure if it's going to show right away, but we're going to take the orange and that red. Because I want it like really, really red. This area here. And I'm just making it fluffy. And I'm going to add... A little bit of that red right here because the light is hitting that part of the tail. I'm just gonna just a tad here also not very much because I don't want it to show too too much show that the tail it goes up like that and the same thing on this side and that it goes up a little bit not too too much we're just we just want to create an illusion okay and i'm going to tone this down a little bit that dark area i'm just going to go over it and i'm toning it down okay the bird didn't have an eye you could do an eye i don't see an eye in the picture i'm not doing an eye <laughs> Um, in our crest here, um, I just want to do a little bit, a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of shadow. Um, so I want to come kind of like that, not very much. In the back here, that kind of, what it does here is just re it, it's establishing um, a deafness in the feathers. So not too much, just a, a little bit. It has a little feather coming off here. And remember guys, that's what makes your bird look realistic when we have these little feathers coming out of the body. And he has quite a few because he's all fluffed up 
So he has quite a few feathers coming out here. And on this side also, he's got feathers coming out. This might be better. Oh, my hands are so full of paint. Um, let's, let's use our little um, our liner here. And let's take a, some of our primary red. And let's go do a few little hairs here. Okay. Now we're gonna come and do another coat here because this I want this very very bright. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna keep my liner brush. I'm gonna go into the apple red and the orange. I'll take some of that Tuscan red. I'm gonna mean I'm gonna see how much. Oh yeah, that's much, much, much lighter. That's what I want. And here, it doesn't have to finish in, like it's, it's, it's fuzzy, so it doesn't have to be even here. Okay, wow, that looks amazing. So now what I wanna do is, I wanna do some little hairs here. So I think for that one, I'm gonna take my zero liner. So we're gonna take some black, and also we're gonna go do the feet while we have the liner. So I'm gonna roll it in, roll it in, take more water. You want this like inconsistency, but not dripping. And you turn it, which one? That's the zero, okay. So I'm gonna turn this so that I can do that. And it has little hairs. I wanna make sure I turned it and you guys still see properly. Yeah, so, okay, so little hairs. I'm starting very little and it's fluffy hair as I'm going, not the same. I don't think I have enough water. Yeah, if it's not flowing, you don't have enough water. And I'm, Loading, loading, loading. And I'm gonna take this off because I really don't like that. So I'm gonna come and it has a lot of hair. I really don't like the big one here. So I think what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna work from here. Yeah, I'm not working from the right angle. And on top here of his beak, he's got some hairs. Right here, there's little hairs here too. And hairs here, we got that. Like make your hairs as nice as you want. Here, mine are a little bit blotchy. Well, it's just because I didn't have, I don't have enough um, water. This brush here is giving me a hard time because it, it's not absorbing. Like it seems like it's not, it's not making it uh, flowy at all, at all. So see, sometimes it's your brush. It's not you, it's your brush. And I wanna come down here along the body, maybe a little bit darker. See, it's already dry, like it's unbelievable. You never know when you, when you buy your brush. Okay, I'm gonna make it a tad darker on the edge here. And I'm walking it a little bit in. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to keep that brush, go into the white, go into the white, and see if I can do 
just a little line here. And one that comes down here. And another one here. We don't see it at all. And it has, I'm going to take some of the weight off here. Oh my lord. Okay. It has, it kind of goes over here. And it, we're going to add um, we're kind of highlighting some of the feathers. Not too, too much. We don't want a big highlight here. It's under the tail, after all. And it doesn't have to be all the way. That's all you need. My lines are crooked. Easy to fix. Take some black. Take some of my red. That's over here. I'm just going to go in, try to go into the same kind of color. And see, I can just come and make it less visible if I want. Come here and do the same thing. Once it's inside the bird, it's kind of easy to fix because um, we're not working with the color of the canvas. Okay. Let's do a snow. The snow. The way I'm going to do the snow is I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. See if I have. Hmm. I'm going to take. This one's pretty good. I'm going to try to take here. Okay. It's another zero liner. One of my, my, one of my old ones that I like really a lot. So... For the big fluffy snow, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. Like I said, I don't see all of your comments. So, okay. So what I do is I kind of come here, there, and I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm going to press and wet my finger on my hand. I don't want the snow like that. I want the snow to be more uh, uh, blurry like that. So a little bit of water in my white paint. And I'm just going to come and do a little spots and touch. Come again, do little spots, touch. On my wood, same thing. On my bird, same thing. Uh, it's got blurry little things here, little blurry things there. Because it's snowing in front of the bird too. So that's what you got to remember. And you do that all over. I'm going to be careful because I picked up some of it. A little bit of water. It's easier if you have a little bit of water. It's not going to dry as fast. And I'm going to come and I do that. Like it's not a big snowstorm, but it got these big flakes. And, and it's all blurry like that everywhere. If there's a, a spot that you don't like, put a snowflake there. And the more you touch, and some, well, you can just, you know, if you touch barely... It's just going to, your snow can have some flakes that are darker, that are more white. And make it, make it in front of the tail also. And it, it, you can put as much snow as you want. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I might use the, the toothbrush, but not right now. We're going to create our snow in the back. And I'm just going to move you a little bit so that I go into some spots that I I did little boo-boos. And 
and I did like little spots here and you want it to snow everywhere and don't stay in one spot so, like some of my snow is big that's okay because snow is big when it's the way I think that I see that snow it's like you know when it's it's like the, the first snow falls and it's got these huge snowflakes that's what I see in this painting so it's kind of cool and I'm just going around and tapping each one some will be a little bit lighter which is okay like I say it's just giving me a dimension around the bird on the bird The bird will have some on this crest. And I'm just tapping at some areas. I'm tapping strong. Okay, so you can put as much snow as you want. You want you can make it as stormy as you want. Okay, um, we're going to go put some little touches and I think I'm not gonna use the toothbrush I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load my brush like that and I'm just gonna come and I'm just gonna tap and some certain areas there's more and there's a big there's lots and and here it's like it's sitting on top of his cheek and we're gonna do that some area here is blurry it has some under the chin here it has some here a little snowflake there you can you can definitely use the toothbrush if you want but the bird seems like it doesn't have a lot on him. It's like it's snowing all around him. <laughs> I don't want to make it too specific of where I'm placing the snow. I'm just doing snow. Okay, a little bit of water. I think what's happening is that the, the bird is kind of out of focus. That's why we see these little flakes. That's the, that is the, the snowflakes, but I don't want them to be too, too white. So a little bit more water in my brush. And you can put as much snow on your bird as you want. You can use the toothbrush if you want. Like I say, I didn't use it. And we want to make sure that we put some on the branch. It does. You can even put um, some, uh, a lot of snow on the branch if you want. But it's not snowing that much. So now let's go do our feet. So water consistency. I changed brush. It's going to go much better. See, that's why I like to to um, buy my brushes in person because you don't know when you order online what you get what you're gonna get. So it has a toe here, a toe here, and it's like coming down. I'm gonna zoom you in, guys, because you're not gonna see that. Okay. So I did a toe and I'm going to put, um, I'm not going to wait for it to dry. I'm going to come and I'm going to put a little bit of white because his toes are, are kind of grayish. Like I didn't, I didn't do the nail yet. I'm just doing the toe. Okay. So the top is kind of grayish. I'm going to tone it down with a little bit of the black. And there's a toe coming under. And it's kind of a, a V coming under. 
and the 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 other toe is over here you barely see it okay and it's got one coming under here just like that and I'm gonna go back into my black I'm gonna do the 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 nails now so there's a nail that comes here And the other one that is on top here is like crooked like that. And those are like really black. So I'm gonna make it more black. And in the point if I can. And this one is also very black. And this this one here barely shows. So did we go over our lines? So what we can do here is take um, some of our raw umber, a little bit of the black, and do a retouch on our branches. I had a drop of water there. Let's do a little touch here. So there's a little touch here, a little touch there, it should be, so I'm going to work it because the bird is sitting on top. So there should be shadowed, but here it's okay. Um, the way the bird is sitting, that side of the bird is on top of the branch. I'm going to come down here and do the same over here, making sure. And at the bottom here also, if I went over, And just like that. And at the top here, seems not bad at all. I didn't go over, but that's how you would correct it. And the last thing that you're going to do is you're going to sign your, once you've done your snow, you've done your feet, you're satisfied with your painting, sign it. Um, always sign your painting and what I like to do is add the year so I like to add the year like this here dash 20 so I know I made this in 19 and 2020 and I have paintings that I've done in 2002 so it's pretty cool seeing how I used to paint and how I paint now so I'm gonna zoom you back out so you see the completed painting and uh, that's what uh, our painting is so what I want to do is dry this completely and uh, also um, put a coat of sealer uh, I like the matte sealer because it doesn't shine and uh, this week I did a painting and I put matte sealer on it in liquid and it was shiny and I did not like that so I, my spray is really flat so uh, one thing that we can do guys actually what I would like to do is take some of the yellow and a little bit of our orange and we're gonna go put a highlight on the beak okay so I'm just gonna go with orange and yellow that's so gonna give me a, a lighter orange and I'm gonna zoom you in again just so that you can see the highlight that I'm doing on the beak I'm gonna bring you down a little bit and it's it's like right here and like that and it can have one a little here So that gives your beak another perspective. Oh, my hands are full of paint. Okay. So now um, we're done with the with our cardinal. So I thank you very much. But I want to show you what we're doing next week. So I'm going to 
I'm going to take the cardinal away. Well, no, actually, um, this is what we're painting next week. Uh, it's a photo that I took in March at the cottage. You know when you have a tin roof, how the, the ice kind of falls down? So, and I took this picture. I went outside and took, and I, I must have, I don't know how many pictures I took to get it before the drop fell. And the, the back here is my window because it was making a shadow because it was really low. And this is the painting that I've done. So that's what we're going to do next week. So it's it's really cool. So Monday, I will do the um, the sketch. And it's like, I mean, this here is snow. We're not going to sketch that, obviously. But here, it, it's we're just going to learn how to, because um, a drop, a water drop like that, is, is everything's upside down. And it's just to, that we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to follow um, the, the, the circular form of the, of the drop so that it looks like a drop. So for the blue, use the blue that you want. I used ocean blue. Uh, and for the trees, I used that army green that we make with the yellow and uh, the black. You can use a dark green. And we need black and white. That's it. For, for that one. So that will be Friday. Uh, when I will put put it on uh, on the page with uh, the supplies that we need. And the sketch will be Monday at 1 o'clock. So thank you very much for joining me today, guys. And I hope you have a great rest of the day and a great weekend. And take care. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye. Oh, okay, here someone is asking me, um, where do I get my paints? Well, actually, my paints I ordered at Amazon. Uh, no, Michaels. I ordered all of my paints at Americana at Michaels. They have all, all the colors that you want, and uh, that's where I did. But right now, if you live in Northern Ontario, it's not the right time to order your paints because they're going to freeze. So if they freeze, you're going to change... Uh, the molecular of the paint the, so it won't be uh, once it freezes it might not be uh, as, as good anymore so I don't order during the winter I, I did my order in autumn so um, some paints I bought at Walmart all uh, the um, folk art is bought at Walmart um, our Walmart here doesn't have much paint left because they find it's not an essential so uh, we're kind of um, screwed, sorry about the word. Um, some of the people that are painting with me use dollar store paint. So um, you can, if you're stuck, you cannot order and you're missing a color, go check at dollar store. The only thing at dollar store, like I did my uh, video on paint, is that you might have to do more coats. Like when I did the water drop, I had to do three coats of the blue. Uh, with Americana. The blue is very liquid. So we're going to do, I need to do three coats. So if you guys need to do three coats, fine. That's no problem. So that's the, the, the that's where I get my paints. Michaels, try Michaels if you want to order. Uh, take a chance in ordering and um, or else go check Walmart or Dollar Store. Okay, guys, I'll see you uh, on Monday. Bye, guys. Good. Uh, you guys can send me a photo of uh, what you did. Okay, guys. Bye.